Yeah, this is our uh, TDS-136. It's basically the step up from our flagship TDS-118. And I'm pretty sure that this, yeah, this is at OMSET as well. And this is when we were getting our nameplate capacity. So <clears throat> we were doing a test here, and this is an optimal condition test. They, they, they put this thing in oil, and at this point, the drums aren't even touching water. It is pure oil. But the point of the test is to completely max it out just to see how much oil this thing will It's like recover. a stress test, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so we, um, this thing's going full bore. And you can kind of see there in the front there, it's starting oh, to overflow wow. a little bit. But that's that's how you get your nameplate capacity and you get your max results. Huh. So we're able to take that information and we can promote and say, hey, this skimmer is proven to do these numbers in optimal conditions. So when you talk about the nameplate capacity, when you make a new product like this, like if, if it's something brand new, you have to take it to this place to test it? No, you, that's just- no you don't have to. Um, and, that's and that's just more of a backing. That's more of the backing. That's, this is our moment of proof right here. Hey, okay. we did this, you know, Coast Guard was there and they, they saw the test and they were able to ratify the numbers. Well, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, when Boy Scouts, you had to do the Pinewood Derby. You can spend all the time you want on that car, but until you put on the track and see how it performs, you really don't know how well you've done. And you don't have a football field size saltwater tank, right? We in your backyard. We, and, we've we've got some small tanks in our facility where we can test some stuff out. You know, we've we've built some pools, we built some tanks, so we can test all this stuff internally and get a good idea. But at, you know, at that point, it's just hey, we did this, and we can say we did this, and that's what yeah, a lot of people do. You kind of have to have some other people there to kind of like notarize it in a sense. And, and they might not be dishonest. It's it, I'm not saying they're being dishonest with their claims. It's you know, there's, there's a lot of different variables. They might have a pump that can handle 1,000 gallons a minute, but is hooked up to a skimmer that can only handle 200 gallons yeah. a minute, but they can still claim 1,000 thousand gallon a minute capacity. Mm-hmm. So, that you know, that's one of the things that we're really proud of is we're able to test this stuff. We're able to prove these numbers, um, and that's why we have the reputation of being one of the best in the world of what we do. Yeah.